Hi and welcome to How to Taste Wine in 5 Easy Steps with me, Jo Stewart. Now if you've ever found yourself in a restaurant where you've ordered a bottle of wine and the wine waiter asks you would you like to taste the wine and you have no idea what to do, then this is the video for you. So over the next couple of minutes I am going to break down exactly what you need to do into 5 simple steps and have you tasting wine like a pro. So step one is all about the setup. Now here you want to make sure that you're holding your wine glass correctly and that's around the stem rather than around the bowl of the glass. Now when we hold the wine around the bowl, the heat from our hand can actually raise the temperature of the wine which can affect the taste. Step two, we want to give just a little sniff just to make sure that there's no wet cardboard smell which can indicate that the wine has corked. And number three, we just want to have a little look at the colour and opacity of your wine. Now you don't need to spend more than about five seconds on this because although you can get vital information on the grape variety, the vintage and the level of alcohol from this just by looking at the wine, all of that information will still be found on your bottle. Step two is when we swirl the wine. Now we do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it helps to aerate the wine. So it gets oxygen in there, which helps to release the aromas. And this is when the aromas will be at their most concentrated. Now this is where the shape of your wine glass becomes vitally important. So for example, with a big bold red wine, your ideal glass is a wide bowl with a wide opening that will let the flavours rise out of it. With a more delicate, softer white wine, you, your ideal glass is a smaller bowl with a narrower opening, which helps to contain the aromas. Now, as well as helping to release the aromas, swirling allows us to check out the wine legs, which are these little tear shapes that you get on the side of your wine glass. Now, thicker legs will suggest a higher alcohol content, where slower moving legs will indicate a higher sugar content. Step three is when it is time to use your nose and smell the wine. So when we first start smelling the wine, we want to start with broader categories because if you're immediately trying to pick out whether there's cherry or raspberry or pineapple or citrus fruits in the wine, it can become more difficult. So start by trying to identify, are there citrus fruits, are there orchard fruits, are there tropical fruits in your white wines or are there red berries, blueberries or blackberries in your red wines? Now, you can often get secondary aromas which can be added to the wine or as a result of the winemaking process. And these can include things like vanilla, leather, tobacco, and often things like stale beer or a farmyard smell as well. Step four is when we taste the wine. Now you want to get a good mouthful and swirl it all around your mouth. Make sure that it's coated in all areas because we actually taste different tastes on different areas of our tongues. So with our tongues, we can indicate salt, sweetness, bitterness or sour tastes as well. Now with a white wine, after you've swallowed it, if you have a mouth-watering sensation, then it gives you an indication of the level of acidity of the wine. With a red wine, once you've swallowed it, if you have a dry mouth sensation, then that gives you an idea of the level of tannin in the wine. Step five, our last step is when we Think about what we've tasted and make an assessment. So did you feel that the wine was balanced or not? Was there too much alcohol or a strong alcohol aftertaste? Was it too acidic for your taste? Was there too much tannin for your taste? Did you like it? Was there anything unique or anything that stood out for you? So once you follow this process, you will never be in a position when you're asked to taste wine where you do not know what you're doing. So just to recap those five steps, step one is when we set up. Make sure we're holding the wine glass correctly, have a little sniff to make sure that the wine isn't corked and have a little look at what the wine looks like. Step two is where we swirl our glass to make sure that there's lots of oxygen in there and really release those aromas. Step three is where we have a little sniff and we try and identify any broad fruit types and then try and narrow it down from there. Step four is when we taste the wine and assess the level of acidity and tannin. And step five is where we make our assessment. 
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly content. Click the button below to download your PDF on how to taste wine in five easy steps. Thanks for watching.